If this is your first time hearing about Bolt.new, or if you have been using Bolt.new for a while, you know how good it is. But if you're unsure how to add users in the database, this is the right video for you. In this video, we're not only going to make this app look good, but we'll also add the database and users recognition that can be connected with an automation. If you're unsure how powerful this tool is, let me tell you about my experience. I tried to make a 3D product on Bolt.new and it only took me eight minutes. And I have no coding experience whatsoever. Now, on the other hand, imagine a developer using this tool to their advantage. They could save a tremendous amount of time and effort, allowing them to focus on creating even more complex projects. If you want to watch a video of me creating a 3D module product, leave a comment below and a like, and I'll send the details over to you. In my last video, I created an app for a law firm called Free From Jail, which allows clients to view videos about their firm services. I also added an AI chatbot. If this is your first time learning about bot.new, I highly recommend watching my last video. Now that we're in Bold.new, for those who are not familiar with this platform, Bold.new is essentially like ChatGBT before app development. What's really interesting about this app is that you only need to write a prompt and it will code for you an app. Sometimes just like ChatGBT, you need to have a back and forth conversation to get your idea around clearly. Personally, I don't know how to code, but I know how to talk to AI and prompt it, which is why I believe this tool is very powerful. Now for my last video, uh, as I mentioned, here is what we made so far. We also added this uh, AI chatbot that I made with voice flow that you can see at the bottom, right? You can ask whatever questions about like regarding the law firm, it will answer and get the information and put it into their database, right? Now, what I would like to add here is also like a not in mode effect. And then we'll just add a sign in method and a database. Okay. And a quick detail that I really like about Bolt.new is the fact that we're able to see the code being coded at the same time. It, I know nothing about coding and I think it does give us a really nice touch to it. As we can see here, there's a issue. Let's see if Bolt is able to fix it by itself. If not, we'll try to tell, hey, there's an issue. Let's give it a first try. Okay, from here, it looks like Bolt was able to find the problem and fix it by itself. I really recommend just pressing once and see if Bolt can fix it for you instead of you trying to explain the issue. And as we can see here at the top right, they added the night mode effect. It does, it, it is night mode effect, but it does look weird. We're not able to see the text format. What I will simply do is say, when it's on night mode, I'm not able to see the text. It looks like I'm getting an error, which is completely fine. There are three ways how to fix this type of error if you get it. Either you take the code and you write it back into the language, or you take a screenshot of the issue you're facing. And the third option that you have is also, you can just say, hey, I'm getting an error pop up. I'm not, I'm not able to see the page. All right, let's see what it was able to do for us. Okay, so here we're able to see the text format, which is great. Now let's add the login with Google. So great, let's now add the ability to add users to log in via Google with Firebase. Now, the reason why I chose Firebase is just a platform that I'm really familiar with. You have other platforms like back for apps, Subbase, Cloud Firestore. Here it gave us the link to Firebase and also the instructions. So here we're simply just gonna press on the link that they gave us and go and create a project. You. Uh, name the project whatever you would like here I'm just going to name it free from jail you press on continue you also press on continue configure Google Analytics you simply press on default account for Firebase and press on continue once we're in the main page you simply just go at the top left 
and you click on projects, uh, project settings. Oh, well, you're supposed to actually go on build and authentication and it's going to take you here. So you only have to get started. Once we're in, you're simply just going to add on Google, press on enable and put an email account and click on save. And you also do the same thing with the email password. You can see here, add new provider at the top, right? You press on it and you go on email password, click on enable and save. Now that we have our Google and our email password, we're simply just going to go to bolt.new. Here I'll say I'm adding the domains. Could you give me the domains to add on my Firebase? And also it looks like we had an error, but it's completely fine. We're just going to keep going through it with our prompt. Here, it looks like it gave us the domains to add on our Firebase. And also, uh, again, what I like about Bolt on you, it's giving us the instructions, as you can see here on what to do. So what is telling us is a step by step of how we should go on the app. So you go on settings, you open authorized domains and you add a domain and you go back to Bolt on you and add the domains that it gave us like here. So you just go and copy and add a domain and add, press on add. Let's add our Firebase on our app. So you go on project settings, you go all the way down. You And here you need to register the app. Let's just call it free from jail. It will give us a code and this code, we're just going to simply go and copy it. Do not be overwhelmed. There are multiple ways to add the code on your app. One of these options is you put it manually, you go on firebase.ts, you see between 11 to four, that's where you paste the code. But, and the other way is you only write the code. You say, hey, um, here's my code. Could you put it on the app? Also here, it gave us more domains to add on our Firebase that was missing. We're gonna copy it and go back to Authentic authentication settings, authorized domains and add domain, paste and add. Here we have to make sure that we're not missing any type of domains. So I'm just making a quick check and it looks like I'm missing one. So I'll just add it again onto our domain. Click on add. Okay. Now let's try to use our Google and it looks like we're not able to use it, but the reason why we're not able to use it, it's simply because we haven't deployed our app and we didn't add the Firebase database. Here, let's leave it at default and press on next. Same thing, just press on continue. And now we should be able to have it called Firestore. Here's our database that is implemented into our app. This database allows us to store and sync data for clients. It's a NSQL database that is implemented now in our app on Bolt.io. You can see at the middle top, there's rules. You're going to click on it and copy the code that they gave us here. I'll simply just write, let's store the data in Firebase. And here's my config and you paste the code that Firebase gave us. Now we added the database. Let's just press on deploy. It's at the top right and deploy our app so we can see if our Google sign in method works. Here, as you can see, I'm able to see my emails. I'm just going to click on one and it looks like I'm signed in. Even my logo is appearing, which is quite nice. Now let's add it's the ability to talk and have a messaging system on our law firm where we can interact with some lawyers that work in the company. Okay, from the, the notes that it's showing us, it says that it's already implemented into the database Firestore. And here at the top right of the website, we're able to see the messaging system 
and here we can see the type of lawyers but i'm not really a fan of the way it's displayed the messages so what i'll simply do is say that i want to be able to be taken in another page where i can see only the messages same as facebook or instagram Okay, this is much more better. Now let's try to type a message and see if it's able to be sent automatically to the database on Firebase. Okay, here we're not able to see. Sometimes it's good to refresh. Here we go. We're able to see the message and also the user who sent the message and the time and the date of when was the message sent. This is how you add a Firebase data on bolt.new.